going going fishing for crayfish. Crawdaddies. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's all right. <laughs> oh, gotta love dice. Gotta love dice. Well, we are here back at the tackle shop we were at yesterday, and instead of buying fishing baits today, we are buying crawfish traps. Chicken lovers, nice. Ooh. So we have went to the we went to the bait tackle store. We grabbed a fish trap or a crawfish trap, and now we went to the grocery store. We grabbed some chicken gizzards, which you guys know I I love chicken gizzards. I got a turtle on it once. And we grabbed some bacon. This is for crawfish, obviously, because we bought a and, and cheese curds. We got cheese curds for ourselves, so we're satisfied. The crawfish are going to be satisfied, and then once we catch these crawfish, something else is going to be satisfied. Come on, all right, all right, come on, let's go, let's go. Or you just show your light. All right. So we just we uh, just got out on the lake. Just been cruising down the shorelines looking for uh, crawdaddy shorelines, and we came across this spot. Little rock, some wood, some submerged trees. So I think we're gonna. Oh. Ew. Oh. <coughs> ew. 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 <coughs> so as I was saying, we've been cruising these shorelines just looking for crawdaddy areas and we found the shoreline with some rocks some wood so we're going to give it a shot while we go and look for uh other beds or just more spots where they could be crayfish so what we're going to do here is tie our little marker buoy onto the top of the trap open up our chicken livers all right pull out our chicken livers need a little more or no that's good you want the bacon chicken mix no, just let's just go yeah, chicken first. straight straight chicken to start straight chicken to start so Sam, you have this trap all set up now. How does a crayfish come in here and like what is, well, how does it work? Now, I'm no expert, so this could be totally wrong. Just kind of winging it. So we close our door up, got our buoy tied on. Crawdaddy smells the meat, crawls up, boop, falls in, he's stuck, and he's our bait. How many smallmouth are we gonna catch with those crawfish? So many, unlimited, unlimited. So if the traps don't work, do we have another plan or no? Artificial bait. No, you're getting in the water. And oh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's why we got some scuba masks, snorkeling masks. We got the tubes, too, over there. And if the traps don't work, we're going to go swim the shorelines, turn over rocks and logs, and try and find some crawdaddies. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know. We're out of luck. So I think, I think we should be able to get some crayfish. What do you think? I'm feeling pretty good. We're going to back off the shady shoreline. I'm going to have Dice drop the trap down at the first spot. Then we're gonna go put another trap down because we've got two traps, and then we are going to go uh, get in the water. So this should be fun. What are you thinking? More this way? No, or? I'm thinking like right here. I, other side though, maybe. Okay. We'll go right on the other side of this log. That's gonna catch him. For One sure. down. One down. Trap two is set. Now we're gonna go work a shoreline and try and find some crawdaddies. All right. Okay, what are you doing? I'm just gonna walk the shallows and flip logs, look for clams. All right, you do that. You want me to go deep? All right, so I just, uh, currently I'm naked. Just kidding, just had my shirt off. But I'm gonna put uh, my mask on and I'm gonna kinda look in the water and see what I can find. Sam is going to, Sam's gonna look the shallows for them. Um, we're getting a little worried that there are no crayfish in here, but we have seen a lot of smallmouth just cruising the shorelines looking for them. So, we really just need to catch some crayfish at this point to make this video happen. These are what the smallies like. We are in the water. We got the bucket and we got Sammy D, the professional crawfish hunter. There's a dog. You're so white that you're kind of becoming overexposed. <laughs> What's up, Rufus? How are you? You good? Yeah, what up, buddy? No, we don't got any crawfish yet. We looking for them, though. Hey! Got one! 
That is crawdaddy number one. Hey, hey fly, stop it. A little water. All right, let's get out of here. It could be cool, we got our snorkels on, we'll try and catch a couple. We're gonna put our masks on now, we're gonna dive in the water and we're gonna see if we can turn up some rocks and find some. What we did, what we did right there was we just uh, turned over wood and like kind of a sandy area and now we're in a rocky area right by where we put that second trap. So we're gonna um, swim up to the trap, check the trap, come back, and then we're gonna get out of here because we have six of them, which is plenty. But uh, we want to catch like 20, 15 to 20. I'd say that's success, what would you say? I would say so. Nice job, buddy. Freaking nice killed work. it. And we haven't even checked the trap yet. Wow, happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Do we just suck? I guess so. Or do you think we should have put it over on that? I don't that? know, all these minnows are eating me and it's so weird. <laughs> No luck in the trap. That's unfortunate. Dude, these minnows. <laughs> We've got the bait, we've got the gear we need, and now we're just gonna get rigged up. We picked up Sam, the other Sam who was in the car editing. He kind of uh, ditched us this morning, and uh, Sam and I, Sam Dice and I, just went out and kind of tried to catch some fish, or catch some crawfish, as you guys know. We set the traps, the traps were no good, but we ended up catching some crayfish with our hands. Now we've got bait. Now we've got a bunch of fish that are bedding along the shore. We're gonna try and set some GoPros up maybe on some of them. Uh, but the plan is to use these crayfish to catch some fish and uh, end this episode on a bang. A big bang. I'm throwing a drop shot, he's throwing that. We put a GoPro on the first fish's bed. Um, I'm gonna throw mine out there first just so we can see if the crayfish will move around. And then the next one Sam's got. All right, let's do it. So we found a better up here, dropped the GoPro on him. We uh, moved away to give him some space, make him feel comfortable in that bed again, and... Oh, he's darting back. He is darting back. He does not like that crayfish in his bed. He does not like that. Oh, he just attacked. Can I give him a Oh! Did he hit it? He destroyed it. Really? Oh, he ate it. Oh my gosh, he ate it. Sorry, I am way out of camera frame here. Oh, you gotta catch this. Oh. I think he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> that fish swam all the way off his bed with that. Got him. Look at that live crayfish. Oh baby, acrobatic. The key was just doing it weightless. I started with a drop shot, switched to a little weightless rig. Come here. Oh yes, look at that. Look at where she's hooked perfectly in the side of the mouth. So that fish right there, we started the day off, setting traps, diving in the water, looking for crayfish. And that is what happens. Paid off right there. Beautiful bedding, northern smallie. See ya! Alright, let's, let's do another couple times. We're almost out of crayfish after the first fish because we wasted uh, five crayfish on that one. Um, but hopefully the underwater footage turned out and hopefully that was just freaking insane. I'm letting Sammy catch this. We're catching one more fish before we have to get out of here. And now I'm going to get in the water and swim to this baby.
Let's see that doggy paddle. He's already on it. Yeah. <laughs> Any camera gear up here? No, just your rod. Right now I'm like, I was trying to hold my pee. And I was like, why am I doing that? So now I'm peeing. Oh, he's going for it. I just missed him, he stole my my first crawdaddy. Oh Jesus. So my buddy Sam Dice likes to cast in the trees. Get a nice natural smallmouth up here. Oh! Oh this cast this cast. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, let me right here. Mm. You got him. Oh. Got him. Yes! What do you got? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, I'll grab him, I'll grab him. Oh, he's still got the clawed at him. He's still got the clawed at him. Come here, look at this, look at this. Bring him in here. Oh. No giant. Not a giant, but the crayfish is still hooked up right there. I'll let you hold your fish. All that work for that, go. buddy. All that work for a couple fish, but it was awesome. A lot of fun diving for these little crawdaddies and then watching them just sight fishing, weightless hook. Little crayfish. Look at that. Look at that. Let him go back to his bed and do his thing. Nice release. Tomorrow marks a big day for us. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're picking somebody up at the airport from halfway across the world. So we we're trying to get out of here. We're trying to get on a six hour drive. We're trying to catch this fish right here. Calling it. This is it. This is the fish. He's all around my line. He's got it. No, he Oh my gosh, dude. It's crazy how much more they'll react to us. Oh, dude, that's a nice one. This is a nice it's one. crazy how much more they'll react to that. This is a, he's literally using a plastic craw versus an actual crawfish. And they would much rather eat the plastic craw than the, than the crawfish. We're going to get on the road now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's AP Bass and episode. There are flies all, all over us. I'm going to put a shirt on um, because I need to put a shirt on. Thank you guys.